you guys I just got done working out and I came upstairs and just now I grabbed out of the fridge some grapes and some strawberries because I'm gonna do a little snack uh, after working out and some water I had some water downstairs but I drank it all this morning I just thought to myself how proud I am for how far I've come in the last month with the way I've been talking to myself and thinking about my body and when I look at myself in the mirror the things I'm saying and the things I'm not allowing myself to say and when we came into this year me and Ken really talked about eating more healthy foods adding more fruits and veggies in our diets eating more protein because I've talked about it before we are trying to you know conceive and for me, I just would like my body to be in the right place. So when I do get pregnant, I'm getting the right nutrition and the right vitamins and just everything for, you know, an overall healthy pregnancy. Also with that, I just recently in my last vlog talked about my fitness journey. And if you're interested in that video, I will post it in the description below so you can go over and find it. But in that video, I kind of dive deep into the diet plans I've done and the fitness plans I've done and just all the stuff I put myself through trying to find the right thing in my 20s to work for me. Going into this year really deciding that I'm going to focus more on how I look at my body image more than you know what I'm eating and fitness has been really eye-opening for me because when I really dug into it last month all through January thinking about like why I had such t t a tough time during my 20s and why it was so hard to stick to stuff and I realized it had to do with the way I was looking at my body and the way I felt about what I was eating and my way I was working out and everything going into it had to come back to mentally how I felt and looked at myself. And I kept telling myself for so long that if I could only be a certain body weight or if I could, you know, look a certain way, I would be happy. And I've come to the realization that if I don't get my mindset right first, then I am never going to be happy with my body no matter what. So going into February, I thought to myself, if I do still want to focus on what I'm eating and my fitness, I need to start adapting healthier habits without focusing on weight loss because I always say too and I've said it that if I lose weight while going on this journey of eating healthier and you know still working on my fitness then that's great but weight loss is not my focus my focus is just feeling good in my own skin and feeling comfortable in my body and if weight loss comes with that, it that's great, but that's not what I'm focusing on. So I want to talk to you about how I, I am adopting these healthy habits and what I'm doing with them and how it's working for me. Through January, I decided that I'm not allowing myself to buy any junk food because if it's in the house, I will eat it. So obviously getting, you know, fruits to grab for or veggies to grab for is going to be way better than going in the kitchen and finding something unhealthy. And this past weekend, we went to Illinois to celebrate my sister-in-law and her husband's birthday that was at the end of January. And when we and Ken went to the store, we did buy fungins and nutty bars. And I couldn't tell you the last time I had Funyuns or I couldn't even tell you it's been years since I had a nutty bar and What I used to do Is I used to buy these unhealthy snacks or these unhealthy foods for me? I'm saying is unhealthy and I would eat them and then I would feel Miserable and upset with myself that I ate them so like over the weekend we were snacking all day and just you know celebrating them and having a great time and the whole time eating, I just allowed myself to eat without thinking about what it's going to do my to my body. Or when I ate like Funyuns, I, you know, didn't, it, it, it occurred to me that I never had one thought of, oh my gosh, what is this going to do to my body? Or what am I doing? Or why am I eating this? Or even last night, this happened to me. I ate dinner. I was like hanging out, watching TV. And then I kind of binged on some sweets. 
I had a nutty bar, I did some chocolate kisses, and I ate a airhead. And after I ate all that, I did have a thought to myself, and I caught myself really fast. I was like, oh my gosh, why did you just binge all that? That's not good for you. Do you know what that's going to do to your body? And I had to stop myself and say, no, we're not doing that. We are not punishing ourselves for the things we eat. I also caught myself doing this when we were on our way to Illinois. We stopped and had Wendy's and I had a cheeseburger. And after eating the cheeseburger, the thought occurred to me like, you've been eating so well all week. I can't believe you just ate that. Do you know what it's going to do to yourself? Do you know how much you're going to have to work out to, you know, get that out of your system? And in those moments, I've allowed myself to think them. I've allowed myself to feel the feelings, but then I nip it in the butt. And I allow myself to think, okay, why did those thoughts come up? Why am I feeling this way? And what am I going to do about it? And I give myself some grace. And I say, you know, it's okay to feel the way you feel, but we're not going to sit in it. We're not going to let ourselves feel that way. We're going to move past it and realize that it's okay to eat unhealthy things. It's okay to binge on candy and stuff, but we're not going to, you know, think any other way about our body. We still love our body for the way it looks. We still love our body for the things it lets us do every day. And we're not going to go work out and punish ourselves. One of the things I've been doing while working out is I put my shoes on and I prep myself for the workout I'm about to do. And when I've started walking on the treadmill, I allow myself to kind of feel how my body is feeling, you know, how are my legs feeling while I'm walking? How is my upper body feeling? Do I need to, like, can I increase the speed? Do I need to, like, slow it down? What do I need to do for myself? And then, like I said today, I did a back workout. So I said to myself, what do I need to do during this back workout to feel good? And if something doesn't feel good, I'm not going to do it. And it's more or less really listening to my body and figuring out what I need to do and how I feel. And I think that's just been a real important step for me. Adapting these like healthier habits for me about how I look at my food and how I'm exercising has just helped so much. And like I said, the more I just focus on how I'm feeling and how I'm talking about my body or how I'm thinking about my body while I'm eating things and exercising and not focusing on the weight loss side of that has been really amazing for me and has just been a way for me to really connect back with myself. I think the biggest thing for me a lot of the times is the way I talk to myself or when I, after I eat something, the comments I say to myself, or at the end of the night when I take off my clothes to put my PJs on, I have a habit of looking down at my body and picking my body apart. And like I said, in those moments, I allow myself to feel what I'm feeling. I allow myself to have those thoughts, but then I also stop and I recognize why I'm having those thoughts, why I'm feeling that way. And then I switch around what I'm saying. Instead of like, you know, taking off my clothes at the end of the night and putting my PJs on and just looking at my stomach and be like, ugh, like just look at the stomach. I give myself grace and say, okay, I moved my body today. I did my workout. I am happy that this body got me through the day. I am, you know, letting go how I feel about it. And I am just giving myself grace to know that I'm allowed to feel those thoughts, but I'm not allowed to allowing those thoughts to linger and to affect how I go about the rest of my day or the rest of my night or how I feel and look at my body. That's why recently too, I just shared a short of uh, all the new bodysuits I got. And something with bodysuits for me too is like they're tight and they show off every like little curve and every little thing. But I love the way I just feel in them. I love looking in the mirror and, you know, seeing the way my body is and just acknowledging that I can be a little self-conscious, but it just makes me feel like so confident in my own skin and I'm just loving it. So, you know, recently too, I just bought a 
shirt from Walmart that kind of had this cut out where it was you know went higher in the front and longer in the back and I was really self-conscious just because of the way it stopped here and you could see my belly a little bit and the more I thought about it the more I just looked at myself in the mirror and was like I love this shirt it's really cute and I'm not gonna let my thoughts you know deter me from wearing it with along with these healthy habits I just realized that a lot of what I need to teach myself is unlearning the old thought patterns I had before about the way I was looking at myself or the thoughts I would have about clothes or looking in the mirror or undressing and just looking down at my body. Those are the things that too I need to start shifting. So I think for anybody who's you know, on their journey along the way with, you know, your body image, or maybe you just are like me and you still want to have a focus on what you're eating and your fitness, I think you absolutely can do that in a healthy way. You just have to find what works for you. And like I said, what works for me is the eating healthier side of things has never been hard for me because I love strawberries, I love bananas, I love grapes, I love blueberries, raspberries. I can snack on all those and feel so good and putting veggies into my meals and adding more protein like meats and fish and stuff. I love all that stuff so that side is not so rough for me. That becomes very easy. It's the fitness part of you know how do I work out and move my body daily without you know trying to focus on how much weight I'm losing and a part of that too is I have a scale upstairs that is connected to my Fitbit app and I used to every time I would shower I would weigh myself and recently within the last month I stopped weighing myself completely I started to notice that if I got on the scale and I had gained weight I let that ruin my mood I let that ruin the rest of my day it I then would think more about what I was eating and how, how I was exercising and I just don't want to put myself through that. So I also think a healthy habit for you to do during this journey is not to get on a scale and not to focus on that. Because I know personally, like I just said, if I get on that scale and it is, you know, more weight than I saw last time. It's going to ruin my mood. It's going to put me in a horrible place. I'm going to get sad. I'm going to get depressed. I'm going to spiral. And that's just not good for me. I just don't want to put myself through that. Now, once I'm in a healthier mindset and once I'm comfortable with my body and where I'm at, of course, I'll up my fitness game and I would allow myself to really look into losing weight. But I can't do that if I'm still in the mindset that I'm in now. Kind of like in that fitness vlog, I talked about this quote that I saw that said, losing weight does not cure negative body image. And I've just been thinking about that quote every single day because it's so true. When you're so negative about your body and you've been that way for so long that it comes becomes this like second habit, if you try to lose weight, no matter how much weight you lose, by the end of your journey, you're probably still not going to be happy because you still don't have that right mindset and that right, you know, way of speaking to yourself about your body that makes you happy. And that was one of the things I realized, like thinking back on my journey with my fitness is that even when I was at the like lowest body weight and my, I was like, my stomach was thinner and my body was kind of getting toned. I still was picking myself apart. I still was picking my stomach apart like, oh, it's still flabby and I need to lose more weight and I still need to do all this and I need to eat healthier or I need to skip meals. And I was still doing all the horrible things to myself because I still thought what I was doing was not good enough. This year I just told myself, I'm gonna allow myself again to eat healthier and I'm going to allow myself to move my body and to work out but I'm also going to allow myself to feel good about it and be happy that I'm moving my body and feel comfortable with what I'm doing. I'm not over pushing myself. I'm not pushing myself past like exhaustion. I'm not 
judging myself for the things I eat or the way I'm eating or how much I'm snacking throughout the day. I'm just going to take things slow. And eventually, like I said, I think once I hit a place where I'm mentally in the right place with how I look at myself and how I talk about myself and I'm 100% more comfortable in my body and in my own skin, then I will focus on losing weight and a weight loss journey. But this year, I think my main focus is just really being comfortable in my own skin. And I kind of had that thought too of like, What's it going to be like when I get pregnant? Because like I struggle with the way I look now and your body goes through so many changes while you're pregnant and I just sometimes fear like that I'm not going to enjoy my pregnancy because I'm going to be too focused on my body. And that's why I thought this year working on this journey for me is going to be so important because once I get pregnant... I just want to enjoy my body and I just want to be proud of my body and I want to enjoy the way I look and how I feel in my own skin along a pregnancy journey and not be depressed or, you know, downgrade myself or put myself down and make myself feel horrible. And I just think that it's important for me to share this with you guys because, again, as nervous as it makes me feel to share it, I think it's important just so then anybody else who is going through this or feeling this way can also know that for one, you're not alone, but you also can see other people going through this journey and realize that you can do it. And some days are harder than others, and I will continue to say that, but I'm just so proud of myself even over the last month in January of how far I've come and how I'm just starting to get more comfortable in my own skin and really being honest with myself, with my thoughts and how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And I'm just going to continue doing that. And I'm going to continue talking about the things that I think other people need to hear and the things that might help other people while I'm along away on this journey. I'm just so happy I decided to do this this year and I'm happy again with how far I've come and I'm also just happy that I'm able to focus on my health and focus on a little bit of fitness without being so consumed by losing weight or the weight loss side of fitness because it just feels good to again move my body for 30 minutes and kind of really focus on my body and connect with myself instead of being like so headset of like how many calories I'm burning or how much I'm sweating or the intensity of the workouts. It just feels better to work out without like being focused on anything like in particular. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys since I just got done working out and I came upstairs. I just wanted to have this uh little chat with you guys today and sometimes I think just talking about it does kind of make me feel better and it allows me just to kind of get all my thoughts out there and you know talk through things with myself and I just think it has been amazing so far and I can't wait to see like how the rest of this year goes and I've also kind of just been thinking about like how I want to do these videos and like in the beginning like I think most of them are going to be just talking and then later on, I kind of think I want to do, you know, talking with videos or kind of like vlog style videos, but still talking about my body and all that. I, you know, I'll see, you know, where it goes, but I'm just excited about this journey. I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I'm just excited really how far I've come within the last month. Again, some days have been hard and I've definitely had negative thoughts and I have cried twice and I let myself cry and I let myself get it all out and then I switch my mood and I start thinking positively and I say it's okay to feel the way you just felt it's okay to cry but we're not going to let that ruin the rest of our day or ruin our progress we're going to keep moving forward and you know try our best so I just think that it's important to share and 
there are so many people who struggle with the way their body looks or how they look at themselves and knowing that personally I've been doing it for the last decade I told myself at the beginning of the year this is my thriving year and this is my year to really change how I view myself and my body and I am going all in and I'm here for it so I am going to sit down I am going to eat my fruit and I'm just going to relax the rest of the day. I have a few things that I want to get done, but after working out, I really just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys and my feelings and how I am 100% here for this journey. And if you are on the same journey as me or at a different point in your journey and you have any tips to, you know, adapting healthier habits that have worked with you without, you know, focusing on weight loss, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I am here, you know, to share my experience, but I also would love to hear other people's experiences and get an insight on how other people went through it or their journey or how far they are. Or if you're just in the beginning, we can kind of work on this together. So I'm going to eat my fruit and I will talk to you guys again real soon in the next video. Bye, guys.